All right, today is June 13th, 2022. It is Monday. It is day, one second, day 126 of Blender. And today, again, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, I'm just going to go to Geometry Nodes and start experimenting because that's what I've been doing for the last, I don't know, two or three days. Okay, so I have this, like, cube here. I'm going to do new, right? Um, geometry Nodes, again, we have input, output. Um, I'm going to get rid of my input and I'll do add and I'll go to Mesh Primitive primitives and um yesterday i focused on my line the day before i did a cone but not really um do i want to do cylinder circle maybe circle have that there connect the mesh to the geometry and we have a circle um okay so actually this is pretty nice it only has like oh never mind okay it's not that bad it has just a few properties in comparison to the line all right, so the mesh circle, so we have the fill type, none, um, and then ngon fills it up all the way, which is similar to what you find in like layout mode by doing shift A and then adding a circle. Um, and then triangles, that doesn't really change anything, so that's weird. Does it tell us? No, it doesn't. Okay, the amount of vertices, I think we can see that here. So set it to three, you'll have three vertices, makes sense. Um, so that you, that's how you can make like a triangle. Um, wait, how did I make a, how did I, never mind. All right, the radius is basically how it controls, obviously, the radius. Um, if I had what, like, increasing here, the radius is like half of the circle, right? So that's happening there. All right, um, triangles, interesting. So that's what's the difference, what the difference is. I go into edit mode. Okay. Well, yeah, so triangles, I guess it's filling up with triangles instead of And gone in solid mode, it would look like it's filled up, but I guess triangles kind of kind of like puts in vertices in there, um, or edges, and then you can increase the amount, decrease the amount of vertices, increase the amount of vertices, right? Which would also get us to that. If we put three, that happens. All right. And then the radius obviously is make it bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller, bigger, smaller. Alright, so that's it for a circle, I guess. Um, I just want to research one quick question. What's the purpose of triangles? Um, so blender, circle, geometry, nodes, or node. Where's the documentation? Um curve circle node. No, that's not what I wanted. I wanted the uh, geometry nodes, um, mesh primitive nodes, the circle. It's not here. Mesh circle node, there we go. Alright, what is try okay. Um, fill the cycle with triangles connected to a new vertex at the origin. Fill the circle with a single face. Output just the edge ring without any faces. So I'm assuming this is if we want to maybe I don't know Distance of the vertices from the origin number vertices circle numbers geometry and the numbers below three No geometry is generated when the numbers below three Circular ring of edges that is optionally filled with faces, but what's the purpose of triangles. What's the purpose of triangle fill type in Blender? <laughs> the fill option will create triangular faces. They form one or more complete. Nicely filled using fill. Fill supports holes. Um, Triangle fill. Oh, we can individually do that. 
Um, can a circle be filled with a triangle fan? Triangles versus quads. Triangles fill add-on. How to fill cylinder top with triangles. So I'm assuming to do something with topology, apparently, because you can kind of see it here, the blender triangle trick. Oh yeah, topology. Okay, there we go. Um, blender to use triangle fill. So maybe that's what it is, but I don't see it being a circle. Um, for circle, no. What's the purpose of it though? Or what can you do with it? Um, oh, whatever. Anyway, maybe it's just for topology, which I'm not into yet. Um, all right. That's it for Blender today, I think. Keep it short and simple in comparison to the other day. Literally whole an hour, hour talking about a line, bro. <sighs> Alright, um Yeah, we're gonna end it right now. Um but yeah, just to kind of reiterate on the difference between input and output, the output is basically what um is outputted after all of the um nodes are calculated which is what you see on the screen here. And the input is basically the first shape that you had. And you can click by looking at edit mode that you'll see that the orange, right, the cube is what we started with, and that's the input. Um, and it will always be there, right? That's the input right here. Um, and then the output again, we don't, we're not using the input, which is why it's not, um, if we were to use the input, we would just see it like this. But since we're not using it and we're using a mesh primitive, right? So it's a already pre-made mesh for us. Um, it's just outputting that much, which is um, a circle. So yeah, a circle, if we want to fill it in with the face, we use n-gon. If it's non, then we do none. And if it's triangles, we use triangles. It's the same thing as um, n-gon visually, but technically it's not, because if you look into wireframe mode, you can see the actual triangles versus n-gon, you see no triangles. Um, and then again, radius is just, you know, the distance between the vertices from the center of the, or of the origin of the of the vertex origin, yeah. And then vertices is basically how many, I guess kind of takes the smoothness of it. So you could also make a triangle. Um, I'm not sure if there is a triangle here. Yeah, there's not a triangle. So you could just take a circle, right? Mesh circle, which I already did, X to delete, and then just bring the vertices to three and it will make a triangle, which I think I've done before. Um, so yeah, so I'll save that. Um, and I'll save it to, what's today's date? 6 2022 blend save Blender file. And I'll just take a screenshot here, as I always do. Um, full screen mode. Right, and then save this as 6 13 22 r even though it's not a render save that there and out we go all right bye